You guys didn't get to hear what I just heard, right? Back here to hearing this father give his daughter to our father. You know, back here. And, and uh, it was an amazing experience to hear that. But um, so special. Um, man, there's something about a small church, right? There's something about a community of believers that grow up together. Um, I sat here and watched Bobby, her granddaughter, or her, her grandfather, um, <laughs> baptize my son in this water right here. And now to be able to baptize your granddaughter in this water right here. This is what anchored us to GCC, right? This body of believers that we've all come and worship together and we grow together and we learn together. Emerson is such an amazing Christian warrior already. She serves downstairs, and she stands in the gap already with friends and relationships, and she, she, she speaks the word of Jesus already in her life. So when she came up and she said, that, Mr. Brent, Mr. Andrew, I'm ready to get baptized, and I want you to baptize me, what an honor and a blessing that is. To watch her serve downstairs um, and just to watch her come alongside of everybody, it's just been such an amazing experience. And so... We're so thankful to be able to do this with you today, Emerson, as an entire body of believers. The same way every Christian has for the last 2,000 years. There's only one way, like Bobby said. There's only one way. Even for the sinner on the cross, it was that declaration of faith. Who Jesus was, what he did, that he didn't deserve to be there, but that he was dying for our sins. Yeah, so I'm just going to share with you guys a little bit what I shared with Emerson because... I actually had to apologize to her a little bit because I've told her since she was a, a baby, sorry, that she, that I'm the protector of her heart. And I told her, and I've been telling her this for years, and um, the thing I tell her is that one day I get to pass you off to somebody that we, we both decide on and we both trust with your heart. And, um, and today, actually, sadly, to admit, I'm sitting here thinking that Actually, I do get to pass you off before then, right? Like, I, I, I always thought that that marriage ceremony was it, but really, the, the protector of her heart, and I told her I wore this shirt today because husband, I said, you're part of the bride. And, and dad, he's the father. And then protector, like, he's the protector of her heart, and he's the hero in her story. And... Um, so I wanted to share with her that actually I, daddy's kind of got it wrong. Um, baby, I want to be honest with you. The truth is the one that is the protector of your heart for always and the one that I get to pass you off to before a wedding, um, I think that's just a picture of this. But this is, this is actually the, the, the passing of the torch, if you will, and this good deposit that's been trusted to all of us um, that we get to pass on and... Um, so anyway, with, with that, um, I just want to, to share what, what kind of the discussion was that we had back here. So now we get the honor of baptizing you. So I'm just going to have you, Emerson, repeat after me, and then we're going to baptize you. I just want you to repeat that I believe, I believe that, Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, that he died for my sins, and that now I have eternal life through him. And now I have a good book. That's right. Emerson, it's because of your good faith and confession that I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit for forgiveness of your sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit.